Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. I know it may seem a little bit early to be talking about fall. It is very much still summer here in New Jersey. It's like 90 degrees every day and super humid. I am not decorating for fall yet. I'll probably start like mid-September, but I encourage you to start shopping because the Crazy Karens are out. And if you see things that you like, especially if bloggers and influencers are sharing these items, you're not gonna find them. So I would start shopping now and just put it away so that you have it because every time I'm shopping, people's carts are full of fall stuff. So I am going to share some things that I have picked up over the last couple of weeks. You will see it's very neutral farmhouse style. I'm really excited about the things that I did find. I have a lot of different greenery pieces and vases just going for that really cozy fall style. So let's get right into this haul. I'll try to link everything that I can down below, but I can't guarantee a lot of things. Some things I purchased at like Home Goods and Marshalls, but I will try to link as much as I can. So let's get into it. I'm super excited. First, I wanna start with this candle. This is probably the fourth one of these that I've purchased. You can find them at Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx. It's the Sensational brand and it's called Falling Leaves. Not only is this like a beautiful candle to display, this candle smells so good and gives off the best throw of any candle I've ever had. I kid you not. Um, I put this in my kitchen and you can smell it everywhere in my whole house. Oh my God, it is so good. It's so cozy you just next time you're in marshall's or home goods or tj maxx make sure you smell this and think of me and thank me okay these i am so excited to have found these are the new hearth and hand by joanna games vases so i didn't even know that they came in two different sizes i had gone to a couple different targets and noticed that there was two different ones, so I was really excited about that. The smaller one is $24.99, and the larger one is $29.99. That does seem a little bit pricey, but this is something that after Christmas, I'm gonna put right back up on my shelves, my mantle, because these are really neutral pieces that go with like any decor style. Um, they are like a little bit worn looking and rustic, but I just love these. And once I pull out some of my stems, I will show you the idea that I have to um, like the greenery that I'm going to put in them on my mantle for fall. So I also should share that I'm going to do a fall decorate with me video. So all of this stuff you'll be able to see styled in my home but these are gorgeous. Um, I probably would have paid more for them if they were more, that's how much I love them. So if you can find them in your Target, definitely pick them up because they're so cute. Um, what else? I bought this one already. This is from Marshalls and then today I was out and I found this one from Home Goods, and I actually think that I like this batch better because it doesn't have pumpkins in it. So this, I would have to pick the pumpkins out to use it all year, whereas this is more for the same price and I don't have to pick out the pumpkins. So I think I'm going to return this one. So let me just put that to the side because I found this one today. So. Um, this is going to be so cute in a dough bowl. That is my plan for this. Um, if you watched my, um, decor haul probably a couple weeks back, I got the fall wooden dough bowls from Hobby Lobby. 
So I plan on putting this mixture in my wooden dough bowls with a candle in the center. I think that would look so beautiful displayed. So $12.99 at Home Goods. They had a bunch of different styles and I just love the different colors in here. They're gonna look so pretty for fall. Next up, I purchased three of these at Hobby Lobby. And I should just start by saying it once that all of Hobby Lobby's fall stuff is 40% off. So I'll tell you the full price um, of the item, but then know that it was 40% off. It's all on sale right now. So this was $21.99. I picked up three of them and these are gonna go on my pantry door, my one cabinet in my kitchen, and my laundry room door. I have three matching wreaths there now for the summer, so I needed some to transition to the fall season, and I just love these. So I picked up three of those. I guess I'll show you more of the greenery. I'll stay on the greenery vibe. So I picked up this from Hobby Lobby as well. This is part of the fall line. So my plan, let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna have to cut this stem down, but my plan is to put these babies on my mantle with this, what is this like pompous grass or something? I don't know what kind of greenery this is, but um, if you are looking for it, it's FS204 is the number above the barcode. Um, and they are originally $20 and then on sale, like I said, but I'm not going to stick it in the vase right now, but you can get the vibe. How nice does that look? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I picked up a couple of those. I kind of went all out with the greenery, but like I told you, if you find something you like, you better grab it because you don't want it to be gone. I can't tell you how many times I've gone back to a store, even a day later, and you're like, son of a Karen, come on, where is the item I was looking for? And that's it. You'll never find her again, so. Um, then I picked up this. This is kind of similar to like that style of little grassy grass that I got. These were only $3.99 a stem and then on sale. So I thought like all stuck in one something, they would look really nice. I don't know where I'm putting these, um, especially because I got something from Target. I'll just show it to you right now. I got this from Target, the new Hearth and Hand um, faux arrangement. These look kind of similar, so I don't know if I'm going to keep both, but like I said, I'm picking things up just in case. I will style them, and then if I don't need something, I'll return it, but at least I know that I have it just in case, you know? I think these are so cute. I don't know where I'm going to put these, but I just thought they were really neat for the fall. They're like these little bushel ball things. <laughs> um, they were $11.99 and then part of the fall sale. I just got two of them, but I thought maybe mixed in with something like this. I don't know. Is that weird? We'll see. We'll see how it all looks in my decorate with me video, but I picked up two of them. And then the last floral piece my floral stems that I got were these, which I'm really drawn to this like reddish orange color this year. I'm not one to do much color in my house, um, but I thought this was really pretty for the fall. These stems were $4.99 a piece. And that's it for my greenery, I believe. All the florals there were Hobby Lobby. When I saw this blanket in the store, I was so excited because this is a beautiful, beautiful blanket. Um, the color of this is just something else. Um, it's gorgeous. It has a really like simple style on it, if you can tell, just a very simple pattern. Um, and then it does have little like tassels on each corner 
but this draped on like the side of your couch. I thought this was absolutely gorgeous and I love the color and it was only $19.99 for this gorgeous throw blanket. So it is by the brand Rachel Zoe. That is just the tag if you're looking for it, but absolutely love that color and this vibe. And then I think I only have a couple more things to show you. Um, I picked up these pumpkins. They were $9.99 at Marshall's. And these would look really pretty in a dough bowl as well, or like a wooden bowl. So I picked those up. I thought those were gorgeous. And a pretty good price for all of those pumpkins. Um, a couple more things to show you. These are not really fall items. However, I'll probably put them out with my fall stuff just because this is like that woodsy, fall, cozy vibe. Um, these are from the Dollar General. And I've been to a couple Dollar General and the one by me is the only store that I saw them in. So they may be hard to find, but they are part of their Perfect Harvest um, collection. This one was $4, this one was $8. This is a huge dough bowl, um, and I thought it was just so beautiful for the fall. Imagine all of these pumpkins in this with a candle. I'm so excited. Um, even these from um, Home Goods, they would match beautifully to go in this wooden dough bowl. So don't sleep on Dollar General. Um, I did a Dollar General video in the past and a lot of people were like, my Dollar General does not look like that. Um, I think that the one that is near me is like some kind of home version. I don't know, but they have really good stuff and I always find awesome decor pieces there. So check your local Dollar General. They were so affordable. And then I picked up this mortar and pestle from TJ Maxx for $7.99. I'm never going to use this, but I just thought it would be really cute on a hutch um, with the wood tones and all that. So I picked that up. I thought it was cute and an affordable price. And then I think my last piece to show you guys, is that it? I think that's it. My last piece is this adorable sign from Hobby Lobby. It's huge. I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but I had to have it. It was $50 and then 40% off. That is like, I think it was maybe like $30 for a sign this substantial. It's, whoa, <laughs> oh my God, for a sign this substantial, that is such a good price. And they had this one and then one with like a white background and some different lettering but i thought that the brown was really pretty um no idea where i'm gonna put this yet but where there's a will there's a way i will figure out somewhere for it to go so i think that's it for all of the fall stuff that i have um in my fall totes i have like a bunch of pumpkins and stuff so really i think i'm just gonna do pumpkins and greenery and that really be it for the fall. Um, I just want to stay like really simple and for Halloween I will probably just do like a cute Halloween front porch and not go as crazy inside. Um, it's just I just don't have that like itch to decorate that like cutesy Halloween look in my house this year. I did it last year and that was enough for me. So I hope you guys are excited for my decorate with me coming pretty soon. Like I said, I'm not decorating until like mid September, but at least you can see like the vibe that I'm going for. And start checking out your local stores for some of these pieces. Um, you're definitely going to want to start shopping sooner than later. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and got inspired and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.